Welcome to another video and for today's lesson, we will be discussing on general specific purpose of research and so without further ado, let's begin. For the general and specific purposes of research, specifically, research aims to do the following tasks. Number one, description. Because research describes a phenomena, for example, in care, it refers to services rendered by professional and non professional nursing personnel to respond to the health needs and problems of individuals, families, groups, and communities intended to bring comfort and ease to clients. Another example is in education. It also refers to services rendered by professional teachers or to students no, to respond to the educational needs and problems in education in each students or to the group of students in schools and as well as to teachers and to non-personal staff in the academe. So it intended to bring better and uh, better service, better education to help the clientele specifically in education. Number two purpose of research is for exploration. Research explores the phenomena. For example, um, what are the factors influence, affect, or relate to the adjustment of salary increase among teachers? Or if we focus to student, it could be what factors influence, affect, or relate to the academic performance in relation to the um, aptitudes and skills of the students. They could explore into that. It depends. There are so many topics that or problems that could be explored and to find answers. And research is, um, the purpose of research is to explore into that. Number three purpose is explanation. Research seeks clarification of a prevailing situation to answer questions that ask why a phenomena occurred. For example, we want to know the answer. We need an explanation why does climate change occur. So from that question, we need an answer. We need an explanation why. Not only into that, there are so many questions that we have in life. Many problems that we want an answer, we want an explanation. That's why research is very important because the purpose of research is to describe, to explore, to explain, and for number four, prediction and control. Research anticipates possible psychology and physiological reactions to nursing interventions, not only in healthcare, but also in the academe. I'd like to give example in education. For example, they can predict the incidence of low performance in math in young learners is expected to increase with the millennium age. You see, uh, in research, they can predict that in the millennium age, there will come a time that there will be an incidence of low performance in math among young learners. And because they were able to predict that, the research will help us to control it because we know what is the problem. They were able to describe what is the problem all about and they were able to explore into that problem and they can explain why. And because of that, the research will help us to control on what are we need to do in order for us to control the low performance in math among young learners because we will not let it happened because we know that in the millennium age there will come a time that there will be a low performance in math among young learners so what we're gonna do in order to us to defeat the low performance in mathematics so that's how research works in order to make it better to address the problem to resolve the problem and to find solution to the problem it's all synonymous actually but you know, in research, we have to find solution to that problem. That's all and thank you. I hope you learned something today and see you on my next video.